Hello, I'm Dr. Sharita Golden, Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer for Johns Hopkins Medicine. We created this educational series for you on the COVID-19 vaccine because we want you, our employees, to be able to make the most informed decisions for yourselves. We have gathered experts across our organization to contribute to this video series, and we welcome you to watch either the entire series or just those components that are most relevant to you. Thank you. These studies can take a really long time and the normal timeline for vaccine development is 10 to 30 years. Um, and we're in the midst of a pandemic right now. We don't have time to wait 10 to 30 years. We've already lost almost 300,000 people in the United States. Um, and because of that, we have sped up this development and we haven't compromised any of the safety steps. We haven't compromised any of the steps in the clinical trials, but what we've done is we've stacked them. So as soon as a vaccine is shown to be safe in a phase one trial, instead of waiting until the trial is completely done, we move into phase two. Instead of waiting for that trial to be completely done, as soon as we have good safety and, and immunogenicity or immune response data from the phase two trial, we move directly into the phase three. And we're setting up for all of these trials at the same time. Time. We're also evaluating a lot of vaccines all at the same time. And so the thing that we're sacrificing, the thing that we're, 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 um, we're, we're using to speed this all up is money. Um, these trials are incredibly expensive, but the manufacturers, the US government, other governments have invested a tremendous amount of money to compress this timeline to stack these stages so that we can get a vaccine as quickly as possible. And it is incredibly exciting that we have a vaccine, two vaccines that are likely to be licensed in the United States within a year of us knowing about a disease. There was a lot of groundwork even before the pandemic started to develop vaccine capacity so that we could do, respond to a pandemic in this way. The other thing that we've done is usually vaccine manufacturers will wait until a vaccine is licensed to invest in manufacturing these vaccines. But because, um, because of the pandemic and because of the critical nature of it, the manufacturers and um, the governments have set, stepped up and said, we will buy vaccine from you if you make it ahead of time. So the manufacturers have been making vaccine ahead of time. And that's why there's any vaccine that's available to be distributed um, very, very quickly as soon as these vaccines are licensed. 